Hi, this is Dr. Rod again with 17th Street Chiropractic, and here we are. One week later, one more video. As I said, we're going to try to do this weekly now. So uh, hopefully you like it. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about insurance today. Throughout my years of practice, I noticed a lot of people don't really understand how insurance works. So I'm going to make a basic video today to explain the basics of how insurance works and the process. Actually, this is going to be a two-part video. This first uh, part is going to be more basic uh, concepts on uh, the whole process of insurance, uh, the insurance company it's itself, and so on. And then the second video is going to be deeper, uh, more intricate uh, things about the insurance to understand. So this is going to be a, the simpler video, and then a few weeks from now, we'll post the second part. Okay? Uh, before we start, do me a favor. Uh, subscribe to the channel uh, down below where it says subscribe. Hit a like video and also the, um, the bell to get notifications as soon as um, uh, the next vi video is posted. So this way you support our channel and make sure that we can keep on doing those. Okay, so let's go right into it. First thing we're going to talk about are the insurance companies itself. Okay, so let's just write down here companies. Okay, and there is a variety of different insurance companies. Uh, the most common ones are Anthem. Um, we have also United, United Healthcare. I'm just gonna do the, the basics here. Hopefully you can see it okay. Uh, Anthem United, we have Cigna um, and Kaiser. Okay, um, of course, there's a lot more uh, insurance company than those four of here, but just for our purposes, let's just talk uh, those four right now. So, the first thing you do, um, as far as insurance goes, is you got to pick the insurance company that you're gonna want to have a plan with. Okay, so you pick the one you go with. Of course, all those are different, different insurance companies, so those who have um, uh, different plans of them. And let's say um, each one of those have about three plans within, with, within. So let's say plans A, B, and C, A, B, C, A, B, and C, and A, B, and C. So those all insurance plans inside this one company over here each one that have their different plans and the plans can be different okay so let's say this plan over here has a copay of twenty dollars while this one over here has a copay of say thirty dollars and this one has no copay okay so you can see how already the first right there. And we're gonna define those, um, uh, what a copay mean, means in just a little bit, okay? So each one of those insurance, they have their own plans, which have their own different um, uh, things in them that give you whatever you want or what you can afford. And all, of course, all of those cost differently. Okay, also they have different deductibles in each plan. Let's say that this plan over here has an up 1,000 deductible. This over here has $200 deductible. And this plan over here has no deductible. Okay, so a lot of people get um, confused when they come to me. They say, hey, I have Anthem. What is my copay or what is my deductible? And my usual response is, I don't know, it depends on the plan you have. As you can see, different plans have different um, uh, co-pays, different deductibles, different ways they pay, different claims, different times, all kinds of things. So not only you need to know your plan, but we need your insurance card. Uh, I'm sorry, not only we need to know your insurance company, but we need to know your plan, and by the, the way we find out about those is with your insurance card. Okay, we can call and check, or even check it online, and then they will tell us what is your copay, what is your deductible, and so on and so forth, and how many visits you have throughout the year. Okay, so the other thing that they will say is some plans can cover chiropractic, chiropractic, 
and some plants will not cover chiropractic. Let's say, even though this plant C has a copay of $30 and no deductible, it does not cover chiropractic, okay? So the chiropractic uh, clinic, us, for, for this example, may be in network with Anthem, okay? So we are part of the Anthem network. But if your plan doesn't cover chiropractic, then you're gonna have to pay cash because you chose a plan that will not pay anything uh, for chiropractic coverage, okay? So your plan does not cover chiropractic at all. And even though we're in that work, <clears throat> you don't have chiropractic coverage on your plan, okay? So some people also come in and say, hey, how, how come the insurance doesn't uh, pay? You're in that work with Anthem. How come um, Anthem is not paying you? How come you're sending me a bill? Or how come I have to pay out of my pocket? That's because your plan does not cover chiropractic. Okay, if it doesn't cover chiropractic, uh, you have a choice of switching plans to a plan that covers chiropractic. Okay, so the insurance will pay some of your part of your claim or fu uh, your claim fully, or um, you can pay cash. Okay, the other thing that can happen is, for example, Kaiser, it does not cover chiropractic at all. So it doesn't matter which plan you choose on Kaiser's network, they do not cover chiropractic at all. Okay, so you can have a very good plan, but because Kaiser, Kaiser doesn't cover chiropractic, you're not covered, you're gonna have to pay cash if you want that, um, uh, that benefit, okay, the, the chiropractic adjustment. Or you can choose to another insurance company, but when you change insurance companies, you gotta make sure that the plan you choose covers chiropractic, okay? So that's a little bit about that. Now. Let's define a few terms over here. Let's talk about deductible first, okay? Deductible, okay? We're gonna give it, um, we're gonna give it a, an example of a deductible that is $1,000. So when you pick your plan, usually they will give you an option of uh, deductible amounts, okay? So deductibles are the amount that you have to pay out of pocket to a medical provider, any medical provider, doesn't need to be just chiropractic, okay? Any me medical provider in a space that usually of a year, okay, you have to pay out of pocket before the insurance start covering you, okay? So the higher the deductible, the more you have to pay out of pocket uh, before the uh, insurance start covering you, okay? So usually higher deductibles means your premiums, your insurance premiums are lower month to month, okay? Because the insurance will have to pay less to you because you're paying more out of pocket. On the other hand, you can go to plans that have zero deductibles, okay? So immediately, if you go to any provider of any kind, the insurance is gonna start paying for you because you don't have a deductible to cover at all, okay? so. This is very important when you uh, are choosing an insurance plan, uh, the deductible amount, because if you uh, want an insurance that is good for emergencies only, like if you're in an accident or if you suffer uh, acute major um, injury of some sort and you go to hospital, higher deductibles are preferable because um, this will cover most of your medical bills um, when you go for a hospital or emergency service or emergency surgery or anything like that. Those usually runs in the hundreds of thousands and all that. So if you have a $10,000 deductible, that'll be little compared to the rest of your bills. So that will probably be good because that will lower your monthly premium. On the other hand, if you're intending to go to the doctors on a frequent basis, like a chiropractor, or do exams, or uh, do labs, and things like that on a regular basis, every month, every two months or so, you want to try to have as low as a deductible as possible, because you are gonna have to pay out of pocket for, um, you're gonna have to pay out of pocket first, uh, several times before they actually start covering you. I'm sorry, my, my uh, there you go. It's back to focus. So, yeah. So, the lower the deductible is usually the best if you're going on a 
on a month to month uh, basis to a doctor or a chiropractor, all of that, okay? But at the same time, keep in mind your premiums is gonna go way up, okay? Whenever you have lower deductible, your premiums go up, okay? The other thing I wanna talk about is uh, co-pays, okay? I'm running out of space here. Let's just write it over here, co-pays, okay? Co-pays are the amount of money you have to pay to the provider every time you go to the provider, okay? Uh, usually they range about 10 to $40. Sometimes there are none, depending on your plan again. You gotta pick a plan, they're all different. And usually that amount of money um, comes out of your claim at the end. And I'll go more in detail on that later. But let's say we have, um, we sent a $100 claim to the, the insurance. The insurance in, uh, in theory is supposed to pay that $100 to us. But because you've already paid $20, they pay only $80. So that's how the copay comes into the fact. So you pay every visit to the provider the copay. Doesn't matter. Very important though, you only pay a copay after you reach your deductible. So you need to pay your deductible first before they start paying a copay. So if a visit to a doctor doesn't have to be a chiropractor is $100, you have to pay the $100 until you reach the, the deductible. So if it's $1,000, you have to pay $100 10 times before you start paying your copay of $20 for your following visits, okay? So that's very important, okay? Um, another thing that is uh, that I would like to cover in this video before we start going into the next one more uh, in more detail about the claims and all how things work and things like that is uh, subcontractors, okay? So we have the insurance companies over here, okay? You have Anthem, United, Sigma, and Kaiser. But sometimes, uh, actually most of the time, they have subcontractors who do actually process the claims for them. There are two major ones. One is called American Specialty Health or ASH, and the other big one is called Optum. We're gonna go with just ASH for now, just for this example, okay? So let's say that ASH is over here, okay? Sorry for the mess, I hope that you can understand um, all of this craziness that I'm writing over here. Okay, so let's say American Specialty Health. Let's say Anthem contracts with them Let's say United does it. Let's say Sigma contracts with them and Kaiser contracts with them, okay? We are part of the ASH or American Specialty Health Network, okay? So what happens is we send the claims not directly to Anthem, to Sigma or Kaiser. We send the claims to ASH to process, American Specialty Health. They are the ones who process this claim, okay? So because they are subcontracted with those other firms, okay, it might take a little bit longer because they gotta access the information from those uh, insurance companies to get it to process the claim and then pay to us, okay? So that's another thing. Now, as you can see here, I didn't put United as contracted with uh, American Specialty Health, so we would send the claims straight to ASH. So, I'm, I'm sorry, we would send our claims straight to United that might make the, the whole process a little bit uh, faster because we're dealing directly with the insurance company, not with a subcontractor who does the, the claims for them, who are contracted by them, okay? Um, so it's important to know claims can take over a year to process. So um, sometimes I get questions from patients like, um, has my claim pro I got processed yet? Is it everything going all right? Usually I'm like, I don't know. I we send them out, we haven't heard of them yet. Usually if we haven't heard from them, it's a good thing, they're working on it. Uh, when we get uh, e uh, emails or letters from them, that's when the problem comes in and we have to fix. So, But keep in mind, it can take sometimes over a year to get those processed. Usually we can get them done in about a month and a half to six months, but sometimes it takes longer. One last thing that I wanted to point out is we are contracted with ASH, okay? But Kaiser does not um, uh, cover chiropractic at all, okay? But Kaiser is contracted with ASH, 
or they make a specialty health. I get a lot of um, questions about this, so this is important. Some people come in and ask, um, are you contracted with American Specialty Health? And my answer is yes, I am. And they say, great, can you see me? And then my next question is, what is your insurance company? Because ASH is not an insurance company, it's a subcontractor for the insurance companies. And they say, oh, my insurance company is Kaiser. And I was like, well, I'm sorry, um, even though we are part of American Specialty Health, Kaiser doesn't cover chiropractic. Okay, American Specialty Health is just a subcontractor for them. The insurance company has to cover chiropractic in order for ASH to pay anything at all. So we're part of ASH because they subcontract to Anthem because they subcontract to Cigna and we send the claims for them and Anthem and Cigna will pay ASH, they will pay us. But if we, in case of Kaiser, and somebody would come in and would send the claims to American Specialty Health, Kaiser wouldn't pay because they don't cover chiropractic, okay? So even though we're part of ASH, you have to be also part of a insurance company that covers chiropractic, okay? Hope that was clear. So it's not enough that you're part of American Specialty Health under your plan, okay? You have to be part of your insurance plan itself, okay? Has to cover chiropractic. Being a subcontractor, that insurance company does not guarantee that your insurance company covers chiropractic, okay? Because there are other insurance companies that are subcontracted with the, the um, American Specialty Health that covers chiropractic, and that's why we're um, part of it, because those other insurance companies pay for that, okay? I know it's a little bit mess over here. Hope I was able to uh, clarify some of this mystery over here. If this was too messy and you don't really understand or if you like a more um, a video that clarifies this better where I write things down in a better manner, uh, write down in the comments, let me know. I will be glad to redo this if this is uh, a little bit too, too crazy. But I hope I was able to clarify some of this um, uh, craziness that goes on with insurance companies. Okay, so the, this video again is going to have a part two and uh but it won't be next week probably so we'll take a couple of weeks from now but uh thank you very much thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time